Alex, I worked with him, and, and uh, Homeland's it's, it's so almost defining, like, you know, there's the pre and post Homeland cable life, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny because the pilot I have is for Showtime, and um, it's probably more in the world of, like, leads or, you know, and, and it's almost like, can Showtime do a female centered comedy now that it's Homeland Showtime? You know? Right. Um, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, <laughs> other questions? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you talk a bit about the process of developing a pilot and the obstacles you face? Um, well, I mean, just to give you an example, this pilot that I wrote for Showtime, um, which is called Guide to Divorce, <laughs> right? But you know, um, <laughs> uh, it. I had done development with with cable before, and I'd also I did a pilot for HBO with Diane Keaton, which, you know, everybody was like, oh, it's going to go, and then we just got, it, it didn't. Um, <laughs> and, and with network, I found this too, that for me, the development process confuses me so much in that when you're trying to create what a thing is, and I recognize that both Mad, Mad Men, which is, I mean, I did fail to mention Mad Men only because I've worked on that show, so I'm probably not qualified to say I'd like to work on that show. Um, but, um, you know, I loved Mad Men. I loved um, a couple of other cable shows, and all of them were written as specs. Um, and for me, I had to abandon uh, the idea of selling a pitch and write it. So I wrote that script before anybody saw it. And I was able to, like, get my version on the page and then go out with it. And um, that was way more successful for me. Um, so, in, in, you know, and even in the development process, I've been much more clear about like what is the show, what isn't the show. So when they ask me to do X, Y, or Z, I'll be like, mm, that, that's, that's why I don't want to do that and, and talk more articulately about it. Because the problem with development is, um, you know, you 